WTA CTV 23 and presenting You Don't Know Jack The Lost Gold. This episode of You Don't Know Jack The Lost Gold is sponsored by the Plastic Mutation Association of Beverly Hills, California. All right, game number game number thirty-two. I'm currently at three hundred ninety-three thousand three hundred nineteen dollars. We're just almost two fips on getting on the pirate back to its home. What the ending will be look like? I don't know. Does he go back to time? Uh, the build. -o. We'll find out. The game took load there. Sorry about that. <coughs> Here we go. Arr, ahoy there. Let's get this ship in the harbor. Arr, so, who else played here? Do me a favor. Type in your name and we can get this ship in the harbor. Save away. Oh, okay, I got it, got it. Now get out there and secure as much loot as you can. Last voyage, you did pretty well. Do it again. Perhaps soon I'll be free. Free, I say. Schmitty, hey, could you do me a favor and smile real pretty? Great, that goes straight to my website. All right, let's do it. Go ahead, it pick one of these. It ain't over until the fat lady at you. Search for Sonic Prince of Planet Life. Nice goal. Let's move on. Allow me to introduce. Nice going. Let's move on. Looks like this one's going for 2,000 bucks. Yep, you got it. Yam Rapus. Who am Brainiac look like? Who am Bizarro look like? Who am Lex Luthor's brother? Or who am Bo Go up. Buzz in when you know the answer. Oh boy. Here's your question. All right, get ready. Time like to make a choice. Beef, chirp, Just come on, Mr. Sunshine. Mass of pit scissors. I'm calling this one Mad Scientific Skazils. Pay attention, oh boy. this one's worth $6,000. Get the wax out of your ears, it's question time. Which of the following is truly a mad scientist? A mad hagiologist, a mad apologist, a mad oologist, or a mad deltiologist? watching the paint dry. What do you say we check out the right answer? I watched that too. Oologists are mad, oh. I tell you, mad about bird eggs. Because that's what they study. They called me mad when I said I would hatch this egg myself. Well, who's mad now? <laughs> oh, I'm sticky now. Pick a category. Hipsters who need a good hug. Look what this is. It's time for a... It's gibberish time. You can make sense of this category. Hipsters who need a good hug. The opening value for this question is going to be 10,000 big ones. Okay, now as soon as you figured out what this gibberish phrase rhymes with, buzz in. Because the more time you take, the less cash you get. All right, get ready and tell me, what does this rhyme with? Wow, love mod. He acts weary, tense, and uh, don't let that punctuation fool you. Okay, first clue. It's a strange phenomenon. Oh, John Travolta movies. It's a strange phenomenon described by folks that were near death. Clue, they said they left their bodies. You may want to get your body moving. Come on! Too slow. 
Oh, you can have one while at death's door, while asleep, or even while meditating. It's a Wow Love Mod X Weary Tense. Out of the body oh, experience. Oh, and just to clarify, an out of body experience is not when you wake up in a dark alley with a headache wearing somebody else's pants. <laughs> Time to select a category. I'm Sophie, who are in heaven. If I like it too, if I'm much, therefore, I'm going to wrap it on a spoiled biblical art. Okay, give it up for Dear Forum. I'm a rabbit on a small biblical ark. This one's worth 4,000 bucks. Ready? Here's the question. During Noah's voyage at sea, which of his sexy animals would have been able to mate and become a daddy the fastest? The cute ass, the sheepish sheep, the wild stallion, or the sly fox? 52 days, baby! That's all the time oh, my man my. the fox needs to operate. Yeah. Which leaves just enough time for the fox to become jealous of the baby, feel alienated baby. from his wife, buy a sports car, and start a friendship with the panda a few stalls down. <laughs> Go ahead, pick a category. Up next, Geek Chorus. That's just my sound bucks. effect. Did you get this? Think fast, it's question time. It was in a real fart. Hello Dolly were revived and starred the Dolly that made science news in the 90s. What would theater goers see? A flying electric car, an orphaned hurricane, a Siamese supercomputer, or a matchmaking sheep? show you what I would have picked. Dolly was the sheep that became the first cloned adult mammal. The Times Review claimed she was, quote, a mere shadow of the original. Well, Time to choose a category. Hey, I know. How about land ho, dude? <laughs> I said ho. $2,000 at stake on this one. Hey, why don't you give a listen to this and tell me who's describing his spring break? Dude, spring break was awesome. I discovered Florida and they made me governor of Puerto Rico. I, know I was looking for is. this fountain, but this bogus Indian one. shot me with an arrow and I it's died. Now, which it's dude three, guy would have said two. that? Go on. <laughs> Discovering Florida, governing Puerto Rico. Dude, it's definitely Ponce de Leon spring four, break, three. early 1500s style. <laughs> And there I go. At which time the chugging contests would have been with like, you know, pork bongs. Ugh, harsh. How about picking a category? Here comes the judge. You're almost through, but first, the attack. Well, you can't wait any longer. No problem. Here's your clue. Sleep with a poodle and waddle you get? I got three months probation.
job. Well done, my friend. Let's take a look at your final score. <gasps> That's the game. Wow, that game was so well played. It reminded me of... Speaking of farts. I tend to forget a lot of things these days. Oh, but I won't forget to tell you this. You don't know Jack. This has been a WTAC TV 23 production in association with...